Hi guys, I want to show you how I um, care for my ears here from start to finish. You would have seen me doing a video after it was finished washed um, when I put in the pomade and the leave-in conditioner. But this time around, I want to show you from the beginning. So let me just take up my... So this is how her hair is. It's been two weeks. So it's pretty, um, you know, it's time for a wash, which is what I'll be doing now. But, so I will show you from when I untangle her hair straight up to hopefully when I wash it and then put in the conditioner. So to untangle, my hand is dry and her hair, well, it doesn't feel overly dry, but you know, I don't want to um, manipulate it with that feeling. So to add some slip to my hand, I'll just put in some leave-in conditioner and on my fingertips and through her hair as well. So it's twisted at the end. So I generally go um, insert my finger through the twist and pull it through. And because I put a plait at the end, I'm gonna take my time, the, a plait at the end of the twist and open that up. So there are little pieces coming onto the end that I put a plait um, into. So once that plait head part is done, then it's just twist from here on out, flat twist. So I just take my time and I separate through and I drop it. And I actually, I take the time like this, I ensure that all the tangles, that no hair is tangled up, are matted. And I go in the opposite direction to where, or to how I twisted. And then I just pull it down from straight from the root to the ends to ensure that her hair, that I don't contribute to it, towards it being even more tangled. Put me in. When it comes to walk to the wash. Never mind her sad face. <laughs> she just doesn't want to get her hair washed. So that's one. Stop that, Maya. Don't do that, baby. So that's one completely untangled. And then we move on. So I'll go and finish unplapping all. So I generally do it in sections. So when I'm finished this section, I will put in a big twist. Then I'm going to do about three, three at a time, and put in big twists to, um, so that her hair isn't like out in the open for too long, contributing towards it becoming um, overly dry. <laughs> Maya. So this is the top section of Maya's hair, um, completely undone, undid. <laughs> Let me show you a little closer. Sorry. So this is Maya's hair, <laughs> with all the twists out, let me just open them. So I haven't combed it or anything, you can probably still see the definition from the um, twist cornrows that we're in. So this is how I'm going to wet it, to um, give it a wash. Maya, turn your head please. So I wanted to show you what her hair looks like immediately before I start washing it. You can look at them though. So this is Maya's hair. And I'm going to go and wet it now and then come back and show you um, how I apply the shampoo. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> so I'm going to be using this um, shampoo. This is the shampoo that I made. I love the smell of it. It's rosemary and peppermint. Some people may or may not like it. The texture is a little um, runny, if you want to say that, um, because it's all natural and it's harder to thicken natural shampoos with naturally derived stuff. But it still works great. So I'm going to pour some in my hand. This much, which isn't much at all. I can see it. And I'm going to use my fingertips to go into the shampoo. You see there? And I am going to put the shampoo in my, into my scalp. So it's always my fingertips that I'm using to go into her scalp. And I'm going to start massaging it in. 
I'm gonna go to different areas of her scalp, unless you wanna take the camera and do it, with the shampoo. Let me see back. I need to get a bit more. I'm gonna go to the front. So when I'm confident that I have touched all the areas of her scalp, I'm going to take what's left in my hand, which is just like the little lottery stuff, rub it all through my hand, and then begin to pull her hair up into one. That way, I'm coating the ends of her hair with the shampoo. There's some ladder happening already. Excuse the toilet. Just gonna get some more now and concentrate on her ends. So I'm gonna put it in and pull it through her hair. She has shampoo all through her hair, and now I'm going to massage it all in. Maya, turn around with you, Sunny. You sing it for them? So, maintain your eye. For the first wash, I'm going to wash this out and then do the same thing again. So as you can see, the shampoo, or not see, I'm not sure, but the shampoo has coated pretty much all of her hair and there's still a nice stretch to it. So I'll wash this out and then I'll do another lather and put any conditioner after.